Hey everybody, Yankee here. You know, I know I'm not the only one who is very frustrated with the political system in this country. I hate the fact that we basically have to choose the lesser of two evils between Republicans and Democrats. That there's no other real options. Uh, sure, there's third parties you can vote, but most of them aren't viable. But I think there is something we can do uh, this election. We can say, hey, we're going to vote Green Party. Now, I know a lot of people right now are throwing a fit like, oh, Ralph Nader and blah, blah, blah. No, not that Green Party. I'm talking another Green Party. If you look at my representation of a ballot here, you'll see I've got the presidential ballot for 2024, and we've got our two mainstream evils here, the Republican candidate and the Democratic candidate, and that's our only option. But I say we don't check any of these. We check a third box for the Green Party, and the Green Party I'm meaning is Kermit. Because Kermit knows it ain't easy being green, which means it ain't easy being something other than red or blue in this country. If you're not red or blue, people don't know what to think of you. They think you're some kind of a freak. I personally am neither red nor blue. And Kermit understands what it's like and knows how hard that can be. That's why I say we write in Kermit the Frog on the presidential ballots. And now I'm joking here, of course. I guess maybe we could say April Fool's, but it's not an April Fool's joke. I hate April Fool's garbage. In fact, I try to stay off the internet on April Fool's Day because all the stupid, like, oh, look at this fake gun coming out stuff. But uh, I just did this design to show that we do have options. We can stop voting for these people. And we can dis, uh, uh, display our disgust with this system with a design like this because it just shows a lot of people aren't red or blue. Some of the things I feel strongly about would be considered a blue opinion. Some of the things I feel strongly about would be considered a red opinion. Does that make me a purple person? Well, I don't know, but I'm not uh, someone who believes I can be defined by a color. I like to take uh, actual uh, policies and things like that into account. And I don't like the fact that this country limits us in our choices. It says, if you believe in this, you have to believe in all these other things and you have to have a D after your name. If you believe in this, you have to believe in all these other things and you have to have an R after your name. I'm sick of it. Like I said, I'm neither red nor blue and I know a lot of people out there are neither red nor blue. So I made this shirt design to help fund TYM Triple P and you can go over and you can buy it now. I think there are shirts over there and I'm going to be putting up other items today just to say, hey, this election cycle, I don't like this. I mean, when it comes time to vote, it'll be a different thing. But, you know, I'm not happy with the system. I know a lot of people out there probably aren't happy with the system. And this is just a little funny way of showing that, that we're not all red and bl or blue and we can't be put in little boxes. And the fact that our political system tries to do that is shameful. The fact that if I vote Republican, I have to also support every other thing they stand for because there's no other option, that's disgusting. The fact that if I vote Democratic, I have to accept every other thing they stand for, that's disgusting. So like I said, maybe we need a little green, maybe we need a little Kermit. Uh, so these shirts are over there. Hopefully there'll be other merchandise over there soon. Uh, I also did a design for hats because this doesn't translate well onto a hat. So I did a little... Uh, Kermit 2024, and it says the same thing because he knows how hard it is to be neither red nor blue, but it's more colorful and it's in a round little logo. It looks like one of those little uh, buttons you wear for elections. So go on over, get any of these items. They all go to support TYM Triple P and help put firearms into the hands of people in need in this country, try to create more gun-friendly homes in this country, especially in lower income homes, fixed income homes, elderly homes, single mother homes, etc. Uh, so if you're not familiar with TYM Triple P, go, go look it up. But if you want to help support it or you just want some cool merchandise, go over and get one of these items now and show your dissatisfaction with today's political system.
last man.